Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day. In this video, I will be talking to you about the Honey Badger. The assault rifle, not the yeah. animal. Now, I personally don't like the Honey Badger, so I'm gonna try and keep my feelings in check for this video. Now, that being said, let's get right into it. The Honey Badger has a fairly low recoil, uh, around average reload speed for an assault rifle. And it is the only gun in iron sight with an integrated suppressor. And that is where it all goes downhill. It takes seven plus shots to kill on medium to long range. Uh, the recoil is more inconsistent than my upload schedule. Let me make it simple for you. The honey badger will get outgunned by most of the weapons in Irons. And I also know that these few clips show the complete opposite. Just trust me, it ain't that good. Before I even get into the whole loadout part, I gotta recommend these three skills. Quick reload. Double time. And quick recovery. Now when it comes to the Honey Badger, because it does have an integrated suppressor, you obviously cannot put a silencer on it. I would highly recommend for you to use a sight. Any sight. Actually, not really any. The SR3 makes the visual recoil much lower than, than it actually is. Um, clear sight doesn't do it, but it is really good. And the quick shot, I would not recommend on this gun simply because there's a lot of visual recoil on it. Now, let's just go for a clear sight for now. And for the second attachment slot, I genuinely don't know what you should put on it because compensator makes it into a laser beam but the muzzle break makes it even better you just have to pull down and you will hit most of your shots but if you use a modified rifling you'll be able to kill faster on close range but if you use precision barrel you'll be able to to kill faster on longer distances so pretty much what this means is pick your poison. I have made a few classes here, sorry, loadouts, where I just put whatever I, whatever I liked when I was using it. So pretty much uh, this should not be a quick shot. This should be a clear sight. So clear sight, small dot, and modified rifling. This is a rush heavy class and I would recommend it if you are a rush heavy person. If you're more of a I'll sit back and take out my enemies from distance, uh then I would have to go with a SR3 site. Yeah, the SR3 reduces the visual recoil by a little bit. It it is enough to help me. So that's why I'm recommending it. SR3 with a small dot and you can either go with modified rifling or, in this case, I would prefer a muzzle break because this is kind of a longer distance setup. But if you were thinking about using an ACOG, don't. It's not worth using. Uh, however, you should use the uh, rifle scope. The rifle scope is much better than the ACOG. The hammer sight is even better. The M5, we don't even need to talk about it. It's awful, in my opinion. But now, the one attachment I was pleasantly surprised with was the monitoring sight. 
it was actually a viable choice on this weapon. Uh, I haven't hit any clips with it, but it was really good. So I would highly recommend for you to try these three loadouts out. Monitoring sight, muzzle brake. Clear sight, modified rifling. And SR3 sight and the muzzle brake again. You can exchange the muzzle brake here for a compensator or precision barrel, but it ain't going to be good on close range if you put a precision barrel on it. Honestly, just, just going to go with the muzzle brake in this case for me. And that will be it for this video. Now, I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If it was helpful and you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like. If not, dislike. Let me know down in the comments what you want me to do next, which weapon. Subscribe if you're new. And see y'all in the next one. Laters.